welcome to Category 5 Quick and Basic. This time breakout view. If you want to make a breakout view, it's always very useful to have a second projected view of the original view and where you want to make the breakout. You will find the breakout right here. Then draw a close profile, maybe something like this okay now you can control the depth of the breakout view by the second view see if you select this one it will go up to this line to the center of this hole to the center of that hole or to the center of that hole you could select an edge and you could select a reference element and give a distance to the reference element. Please take note, this is the view direction. So I will go for this one and OK. So if you do it the first time, you will see you get a sort of zigzag line. You have to change the line type in the options. So go for Tools, Options, Mechanical Design, Drafting, go to the View and View Line Type, Configure and change this one to a more yeah, normal line. Close and OK. This will not change. So if you want to remove this, go to the frame of the view, press right mouse button and front view object, remove breakout. And then it's gone. If you do it like this, you will remove all breakouts. So I will make another one. Okay. This time more like this and I go to this center and OK. See now you got a better line. I will do another one right here. Okay. It always goes automatically to the middle of the part, the middle defined by the foremost right edge and the leftmost right edge. So that's okay. Like this. So now if you want to remove just one breakout, go to the breakout, select one line of the breakout, press right mouse button, Go to Generated Item Object and Remove Breakout. This will remove only one breakout. Yeah, if you want to remove all, go to the frame of the view and from the object, Remove Breakout. This will remove all breakouts. So next thing to consider is the following. You could apply a breakout view from a 2D view to isometric view. So just make a breakout view right here. Maybe something like this. Maybe you select one edge and make it go through the whole body. Let's say 900 should go through, yes. So it goes to the very end, all through the whole assembly. Yes. Now I could apply this breakout from the object, apply breakout to this isometric view. Now 
uh, you may notice two things. One, maybe some parts should not be cut in this view. So if you want this not to happen, you have to go to the assembly and make for example the rotor and maybe this and that one and maybe the screws go to properties drafting do not cut in section views and OK go back to your drawing and make an update and you will see these parts will not be cut in this view. Takes a while. Okay. Then there's another interesting thing. You see those big fat black lines. This is sort of an error because in this area the program cannot fill Correct. So you have to go right here, activate the magnifier, it's the arrow up key, the cursor up key, and it's always the shape. Go to the shape, press right mouse button, go to properties, and then change the pitch or the angle or both. I will change this one to 1 and maybe this to 30 degrees and apply it. See, now you got the filling and thick black lines are vanished. So if this happens in one of your section views, you always have to modify the angle and the pitch. So same Maybe I go over here, magnifier, it's again the shape, go to properties, but you should go here to the properties, otherwise it will not work. So the pitch is maybe 5 degrees, maybe 10, doesn't matter, apply it, and OK. And again, this fat black line should be gone. So another important thing, I go back to the first breakout drawing. If you by accident or by intention delete one of those lines from the breakout, for example this one, just delete it and you remove the breakout afterwards from the object, remove breakout, you cannot do a new breakout. Just take a look. It will not work. It should go maybe to this one. And OK. See? It doesn't work right. So I will undo this one, undo that one. And what you have to do is the following. If you cannot undo it anymore, go to the front view object and restore the properties, the deleted ones. Okay. Yes. Make an update. Then you can remove 
the breakout in the correct way and you can do a new one. Like this and go again to this one. And okay. See, it works. So I think I covered all the topics which are important for breakout view. See you to the next quick tip. Bye.